everybody. Welcome back. You know, folks, since we just had Flag Day and the 4th of July is just around the corner, we thought it was our patriotic duty to head over to Universal Studios and ask people questions about Americana. Simple. You know, people think, oh, you trick people. We don't trick people. These are very <laughs> simple questions. For example, what year did we get our independence? 1770. Did you say 1492? <laughs> that was a trick question. That's when we lost What's it. the first line of the Star Spangled Banner? <laughs> All right, now see, now these, these are not hard. This is not, this is one of these Grant's tomb things. It's very simple. <laughs> we just talked to average Americans. What country did we fight in the Revolutionary War? Oh my gosh, I don't know this stuff. I really don't know this stuff. Really? I believe you. Yeah. <laughs> Haley, what do you do? I'm a student at Gonzaga University. Oh, what are you studying? Um, elementary education. Oh, you're going to be a teacher? Yeah. And what happened on the 4th of July? The 4th of July. In what year? Which year are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> be more specific. We turn now to education and a brand new report about a glaring failure in teaching American children. More than 50 years after Sam Cooke sang that song, Don't Know Much About History, we learn today that only 12% of U.S. high school seniors, seniors are proficient in the legacy of America's past. Ron Claiborne on the new National Report Card. The results of the tests are stunning. The overwhelming majority of American students in three grades ignorant about some basic facts about American history. Are those two people? Huh? From the love boat? From the love boat? Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Their names are Ike and Dick. Turner? Ike and Dick Turner? No, that's President Eisenhower, Richard Nixon. Who won the Alamo? Baby Crockett. <laughs> Baby Crockett? Uh, who won the Alamo? Ah, oh, come on! I just graduated. I had a lot of stress. You on just my said you. you I know, but history, that's not really think? history. That's only like kind of history. <laughs> well, that's really history. Who won oh, at the Alamo? We did. The we United did. States. No, that would be wrong. <laughs> We're talking with Kristen. Kristen, and you're a teacher. I am. And what do you teach? I teach U.S. history and what? world history. Wow, this is perfect. Who wrote our national anthem? Ooh, I know this. Somebody B. Scott. His last name Somebody Scott. B. Scott? Do you mean Scott's his like, his last name. Remember no, his last name is not Scott. It's not Scott? This is a key question. Oh. Francis. Oh, buddy oh, mine over there. What? Francis. Uh, Keys. Francis Key? Francis Keister? Is that what you're going to say? No, not Keister. <laughs> Key? No, Francis, Francis Scott Key. Key. Scott Key. I had Scott. No, but that's you a, give that to no, me? No, you wouldn't give credit. Scott. No, you oh. would fail a student. I'd give partial credit. You know, you don't give partial credit. <laughs> 